Hi guys, Luna here, and welcome back to another Starfield Guide video. In this one, we're looking at the stats of the game's best weapons to determine the eight best ones you can get. That means either buying them from vendors, or if you're trying to find legendary weapons, which ones should you get? Also, what are the best mods and perks you should be looking for on these weapons to get maximum damage output? Lastly, these guns are not unique weapons, like this one you can see in the video, the Revenant, probably one of the best guns in game. I have a ton of videos on getting all the uniques on my channel. These are simply for regular guns you can find in the game world. Also, these are numbered in order from worst to best. The Equinox is the game's best laser rifle by Combat Tech and is favoured by the Crimson Fleet soldiers for its potent energy firepower. Excellent against armour foes with 13 energy damage per shot and 20 round 3kv LZR cartridge magazines. While its rate of fire is modest at 50, it demands precision due to a wider hip fire spread, making it unsuitable for spray and prey tactics, but if you're a good shot then this is the best laser rifle for you. It also has loads of mod slots where you can customise it to its full potential and I will go over the best mods at the end. The gun also benefits, like many on this list, from improving its damage from two perks, lasers and a weapon certification, such as rifle in this case, both of which will improve its performance drastically. Next we have the best shotgun, which is Big Bang. This is a remarkable particle beam shotgun that stands out due to its dual damage capabilities, inflicting both physical and laser damage. With good accuracy, a standard range of 20 meters, and it also has 7 mod slots, it compensates for its lower fire rate with its high base damage, which you can improve through mods. The game's best pistol is Magshot. You can find this United Colonies pistol as loot, and it delivers a potent 53 points of physical damage per shot. With a manageable mass of 2, featuring a fire rate of 25 and an accuracy of 62%. It offers versatility in various combat scenarios and it also uses 0.43 ammunition and has a magazine capacity of 6 rounds. The Valorant Star Shard is the game's best particle beam pistol. This powerful sidearm boasts a damage output of 26 energy per shot, making it good against various targets with a fire rate of 12 and a range of 30. It excels in both precision and versatility, and the Varun Star Shard exhibits an impressive accuracy of 71%. It utilises light fuse ammunition and features a magazine capacity of 12 rounds, and the weapon's mass is only 1, making it one of the lighter guns. Its raw stats and capabilities make it a reliable addition for any playthrough. Also, if you're looking to get this, it is found as random loot, but the best place to get this, along with the game's best melee weapon, the Varun Painblade, are to buy them from the key during the Crimson Fleet missions as like all the Valorant weapons, they are very rare to find. The Mag Sniper is the ultimate sniper rifle, with an incredible base damage of 304, which is nearly double that of any other of the snipers. It offers a remarkable range of 100 meters and an exceptional accuracy of 86%, even without any mods. When you add weapon mods, the Mag Sniper can reach up to 500 damage, have a range of 120 meters and over 90% accuracy, all of which make it the best sniper rifle you can get. The game's best rifle is the Mag Pulse Rifle. It operates on magnetic propulsion, firing a concentrated energy beam that results in substantial damage output of 111. Makes it a great all-round weapon, even without modifications, and while it excels in terms of damage and has a commendable 50 meter range, it comes with drawbacks such as low fire rate and accuracy. But despite this, it's still very versatile and serves as a high damage output option. And while there are many good assault rifles, in terms of raw damage output, the Mag Pulse is the top of the list. The Mag Storm reigns supreme as Starfield's top heavy weapon, thanks to its potent damage output of 12 and rapid fire rate of 400 rounds per minute. It stands out for its ability to equip depleted uranium rounds, ideal for piercing heavy armor making it invaluable against tough adversaries, especially on the higher difficulty. Max Arm is effective at close, medium range, and you can even hit targets at long range, making it an essential choice for bounties and contraband missions. Although as a heavy weapon, it does weigh quite a lot. So that leaves us then with what is Starfield's best weapon. Well, the Varun Inflictor Particle Beam Rifle takes up the top spot. It has a good balance between damage, range, fire rate, and accuracy, with a base accuracy of 70% and a 50 meter range. The reason it's so good is that it deals both laser and ballistic damage, similar to the Big Bang shotgun, allowing you to benefit from skill perks that enhance both types. The other reason why it's so good is you can equip a lot of the high level mods, like the Focus Nozzle and Annihilator rounds, significantly amplifying the damage output and cementing its status as best rifle. 
However, it does have some drawbacks requiring heavy fuse ammunition, which can be challenging to acquire or can be costly. And like I said, with the other Varun weapons, it's very tough to find. And the best way to actually get this is to simply play in the higher level solar systems. Like I found this one in the level 75 Huygens system, but this kind of area might be a bit too tough if you're just starting the game. Although it can be found as random loot in the more peaceful areas of the level 75 systems. So now you have your best guns, what mods should you attach in order to simply get the most damage? Annihilator rounds are a good choice, or irradiated rounds if that's the only option, long barrel, amplifier, the recon laser sight, and focus nozzle are all high-end attachments. If you equip these, then they will give you the maximum damage output. Of course, if you're playing something like a stealth playthrough, then these might not be the best options, but in terms of sheer damage, these are. Of course, unless you have a common gun, you will also get some perks on your weapon, but what kind of perks should you be on the lookout for? Well, there are three perks in particular that are going to make you kill enemies very quickly. The first is Furious, where consecutive shots deal more damage. Rapid will increase your attack speed by 25%, and one inch punch is probably the game's best perk where your damage is spread like a shotgun blast. But if you've got a fully automatic weapon, then this is the most powerful perk you can get as you can hit enemies with hundreds of rounds in a very short space of time. So guys, that is it for this video. All of the game's best weapons in terms of damage, what mods you should equip to them and the perks you should be looking for. Of course, you want to try and get all of these in legendary and the highest quality as possible. But even if you can only get these in common from the game's vendors, then these are still the same weapons you should be on the lookout for. Like and subscribe for more Starfield guides, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.